Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So already in our previous video we started discussion on code scanning using Snipe tool in our GitHub action to make our whole system more secured, right? Now not only in our code security vulnerability may arise but it can be available in our docker image if we are taking some base image and building a custom image by installing some packages in it or for example in our infrastructure as code or in our requirements.txt anywhere vulnerability or security issues might be available. So let us try to explore how to solve those problems using snike and github action. So today we are going to implement a github workflow which will scan the docker image using snike and if there is no vulnerability then only it will push in our ECR repository. Okay, so that is the pipeline what we are going to implement because in many companies ECR or elastic container registry is used for docker registry. Now many times we build the docker image using github action in the CICD process. So just before pushing the image in the ECI repository, we should be scanning the image once to make sure there is no security issues available in that image, right? And for that scanning, Snipe can help us. So earlier we observed how to do code scanning using Snipe and today in this video we are going to explore how to implement Docker image scanning using Snipe, right? So for this particular implementation, I am going to refer one particular code base which I already covered in my previous video where we implemented a CI/CD pipeline using GitHub Action which is nothing but a simple three step process. First we are doing checkout and then we are logging in in our ECR. We are building the image and updating our lambda function right. So that same framework we are going to use and this particular lambda code and the main code base I have taken from this particular AWS documentation which shows us how to deploy python lambda function with container images. So that same kind of thing we are going to implement today in this particular video. So for that what I will do, I will go to my home page of this and then I will be creating a new repository. Okay. And here I can give the name as ECR image scan using snipe. Right. And the repository I can keep private and I will create the repository. So here the repository is created, now we need to create new files. Now if you recall our previous discussion, for this particular lab section implementation, we need 3-4 files. Number 1 is requirements.txt, then docker file, then our main lambda code and all these things we are going to pick up from this particular documentation only. So here you can see prerequisite, then creating an image from base image. So this is our lambda function and that function name is lambda function.py. So here I will be creating a new file. And lambda function dot pi. I'll be copying this particular code and I'll commit the changes. Okay, first file is created. Now requirements.txt will be creating. And here simply we are taking go to 3. I'll commit the changes. And then here we need to create the Docker file. Docker file to copy this and paste it. So here the three files what we need to implement to run this particular CI/CD process is done. Now here what we will do, we will be creating our github workflow. So I will duplicate this and then here I will click on add file, create new file and then here dot github then slash workflows then slash main dot yaml. Okay. So here I will be basically copying the code from my previous video so I can open that in a new tab and this is the code what earlier I was using so currently I will just run up to docker push for the first time because the lambda function is not yet created let me just show you earlier we have basically used this particular lambda function to update right is that lambda function there it is not there so what I will do as of now we will go up to push. So here let's go to the DCI repository and let's see once. So here this is our repository currently no image is there and here we need to provide AWS access key ID and secret key. So that will do quickly. Security credentials 
and then create access key i understand create key so this access key secret key i'll be providing so it is always better to put these values as secret and because this is a private repository so i am just directly writing here but it is not the best practice and i'll just commit the changes okay so the changes are committed now ideally here i will duplicate this particular session once again and here our main workflow is started so once this particular workflow is completed we should be seeing a new image in our ecr repository so here the job is done and if we refresh our ecr repository here we will be getting this particular image now with this image we can create a lambda function so i'll quickly create a lambda function and i want to create from container image the lambda function name i'll be putting same what we have given in our previous video that is basically this one and the image name i need to provide so this is our image that will be putting and i will create the function ideally this initial setup in our production system we can do using terraform but here i am just doing manually and then the ci cd process can be taken care of using github action right so here the function is created i can test it out once click on test and here you can see we are getting hello from lambda using python 3.12.2 okay from where it is coming it is basically coming from our this particular lambda function hello from aws lambda using python and sys version we are basically printing now from where this version number is coming it is coming from our docker file if you check our docker file we are taking python 3.12 right so that's why it is printing python 3.12.2 hello from aws lambda using python 3.12.2 right so this is our normal cicd flow now i can add that particular lambda function also in this particular layer so this is our lambda function code earlier i was not able to add that because in the beginning this particular lambda function itself was not existing i created that just few minutes ago right so if we put this particular command in the beginning or in the first time run itself that time it will fail because it will not able to find such function with this that's why i just ran once created the lambda function and now i am adding that lambda function update code so that from now onwards it will be a complete end to end cicd process it will be building the image it will be pushing that in ecr and with that latest image it will update our lambda function all these things will be taken care by this particular github workflow right so i can commit this particular changes as soon as i will commit you will see here one particular action again will start and that will push another image in our this particular repository and with that particular image our lambda function will be updated currently it is showing this particular image uri if i just copy and show you this is basically this particular image soon one new image should be coming here and here you can see new image came and with this image tag the lambda function should be updated if i refresh and if i just search here let the code get loaded so here you can see the image is updated so that means it is nothing but our complete end to end ci cd flow what we implemented in our previous video also right now here is a point that whatever image we are pushing that we are not scanning there might be some vulnerabilities may available so we need to resolve that particular part right so for that we will be taking help of snike and here let me search it so here i'll be going to github marketplace i'll go to actions and here i will search snipe this is the action and then here i'll go to docker so here this is our sample code what it is doing it is basically using this particular pre built step and we need to configure this snipe token obviously and the image name or image tag we need to mention and that it will scan so this particular step we need to add in our ci cd workflow so here this is our ci cd workflow i will just edit this one so here where we need to add it is basically first the image is getting built after that we need to add that particular step right so i just add that and here there might be some indentation just adjust that properly let me just zoom out that part yeah so here 
we are referring that particular code from documentation and this will scan our image so our image name is basically this particular one here i need to update that but the registry repository image tag these are not configured as environmental variable in this particular step it is configured as these environmental variables in this step that's why we are able to refer successfully so in each step we might need to configure this environmental variable so that snipe can understand the variable values properly so that i will do and if this particular step pass then only we will push in ecr and update the lambda function so here i will add a new step and here i can add lamb multi line i'll put you need to make sure indentation issue is not there and here i can give this particular name as course in ecr and update lambda function okay right and here basically this particular step i can update that build the docker image okay so here we have splitted our earlier process into two step one is docker image build and in another step we are basically pushing the code and updating the lambda function in the middle we are doing a snipe scan now again here if you see we are using this registry repository image tag but these are coming from environmental variable but in this step it is not mentioned so i will just quickly do that so i'll just copy this environmental variable and i'll put here and for this particular step snipe token obviously not needed and here pretty much it and it looks good more or less just we need to update this particular snipe token value so i'll go to settings and then here secrets and variable actions new repository secret and snipe token will update so this will get from our snipe web ui that key value i'll be taking from here and then here i'll update in our snipe token okay cool so up to this step it is done and here now we will commit the changes and let's see what happens so here i will go to actions and currently our main.yaml is running let it run so here you can see the snipe scan step failed and it is failed because it found some vulnerabilities so let's just zoom and check so these are more or less medium level vulnerabilities if i just scroll below yeah most of the vulnerabilities are medium level and generally in our project development life cycle we should be focusing more on high or critical vulnerabilities so severity threshold i will configure like we did in our previous video and severity threshold high this argument we can put just like our code scanning and here i will update somewhere here in this night scan step i'll update that and now let's commit that particular changes and let's go back to our action it is started if i go to our ecr repository currently only two images are there and if snipe don't find out any high level vulnerability then obviously one more image will be pushed and our lambda function will be updated with that so let's see here it is showing no vulnerabilities found so that means it will now opt for pushing to ecr and update the lambda function what it has done so here if i refresh here you can see one more image got pushed just now at 7:15 pm and with this our lambda function also should be updated so if i just search here you can see with the latest image after snipe docker image scan when it found no vulnerability it has pushed in ecr and the lambda function also updated right now let me show you one thing i will try to artificially introduce some high level or critical vulnerabilities in our docker image and we'll see whether snipe able to scan and detect that particular issue or not and that way it should be stopping the unsecured image push in our ecr repository to maintain the security right so how we can introduce artificial vulnerabilities in our code one of the easy option is requirements.txt here itself we can install some python module which has vulnerability in it so when the docker image will be built where we are installing all the requirements.txt 
that time that vulnerable package will also be installed and ideally snipe should scan and detect that particular issue so here what i will do i'll be basically trying to find out one simple module like request module and i can search request module snipe vulnerability whether in any request module version is there any snipe vulnerability available or not so here you can see for different version what is the level of vulnerability like here currently it is showing only medium vulnerability is available but i want some higher critical so in 2.91.1 which was published in 2018 there one critical vulnerability is available so i will try to install this particular request module in our this particular code and here i will give request equal to equal to 2.91.1 okay so using this particular high level critical vulnerability version we are installing that way in our image also that vulnerability will be imported and our snipe should ideally detect that so i'll just commit these changes it is committed and now let's see our docker scan ideally it should fail So finally our docker image is built and now snipe scan on that particular image is going on. And here you can see that our snipe scan failed. Okay. And here if you see that it is clearly showing that this particular issue occurred due to this particular request module and you can upgrade to fix it and all these things it is showing. So these are the vulnerabilities and our snipe has properly detected and anyway we have introduced this particular vulnerabilities intentionally so maybe what we can do we can upgrade to the latest version which is 2.31.0 and then we can check whether the code is passing or not so i'll just update and i want to show you this thing that because the request module was having some high severity vulnerability so in this process the ecr push and the update lambda function step is not at all executed earlier also we are having three image and if i refresh here you can see currently we are having three image only right so that's the beauty of snipe docker scan it will scan the complete image and it will make sure that there is no high vulnerability is available and if it is available it will not at all push that particular code in our ecr image and make our whole system more secured right and that one i hope it is clear to you just all we have to do we have to reuse the code from the documentation right and the fundamental concept related to github action you are already having already i covered that from scratch if you are not aware of this github action concepts you can check the link in the description box but once you are aware of that it is just matter of taking the code from proper place and patching in our actual pipeline flow right so here our GitHub action started and currently snipe scan is going on and this time it should pass this particular state and if you see the logs of our snipe scan no vulnerable paths were found because we have upgraded our request module to the latest version where if you see as per snipe there is no vulnerabilities available right and that's why push in ecr image and update the lambda function step is executed and if i go to ecr currently if i refresh this particular screen here you can see one more image is ingested at 7:25 pm and currently also it is 7:25 pm not only that with the same image our lambda function should be updated so if i just refresh our lambda function console here you can see that this particular lambda function is updated with the latest image right so what is the flow again i am reiterating so in our earlier video when we implemented this particular pipeline where we build the image using github action and push in ecr and update the lambda function that same pipeline we are using here first we are doing checkout then we are logging in in aws then we are logging in in our ecr repository and then 
here after building the docker image we are putting one extra step where we are doing snipe docker scan and once this scan is successful once there is no high level vulnerability then only we are pushing the code in pcr and updating the lambda function so this is one of the industry best practices right so that way we will make sure no vulnerable images are pushed in our system i hope you understood this try to implement this particular process in your ci cd pipeline also if you are using ecr to store the docker images and using ecs or fargate or aws patch etc etc surely this will improve the port security or governance part in your data pipeline so this is all what i wanted to discuss today the code and the prerequisite links i'll be sharing in the description box just grab the links from there play with it and if you try to do this hands on you will be getting better idea out of it with this i am closing today's discussion if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you for watching